the world's reliance on oil is facing a turning point. Experts predict we'll hit peak oil, the moment of maximum oil production, between 2030 and 2050. After that, production will decline. The result? Potential global energy shortages. But wait, demand is skyrocketing. By 2050, energy demand could surge by 18%, the equivalent of adding several large countries' worth of consumption. We're burning through fossil fuels at an unsustainable rate. At our current pace, oil reserves could face serious depletion within the next few decades. Natural gas? Gone in about 70 years. Coal? Just over a century left. But in the midst of this challenge, a transformation is unfolding, a shift so massive, so fast, that many fail to see it happening. In 2023 alone, the world added 560 gigawatts of renewable energy. That's enough to power. Germany, France, and the UK combined. And here's the game changer. 81% of these new power sources aren't just cleaner, they're cheaper than fossil fuels. The energy landscape is shifting. So what's replacing oil? That's what this documentary will uncover. The most ambitious and groundbreaking green energy mega projects, reshaping our energy future. The debate, can green energy truly replace oil? For years, we've been told that green energy is the future, but scroll through social media and you'll find a different conversation. Critics argue that wind turbines affect landscapes and wildlife. Solar panels pose recycling challenges. Large-scale renewable projects take up valuable land and generate noise. Hydroelectric power alters ecosystems and displaces communities. Geothermal energy is region-specific and can trigger seismic activity. Ocean energy is still costly and in early development. Hydrogen energy remains expensive and inefficient. And nuclear fusion? The dream of limitless energy, but we're still decades away from making it practical. At first glance, these challenges seem like roadblocks, but are they really barriers to a clean energy future? The answer may surprise you. If renewables had no future, why are the world's biggest economies investing trillions into them? Why are nations, from the deserts of Saudi Arabia to the mountains of China, from India's bustling cities to the coastlines of Brazil, racing to build the world's largest clean energy projects? China's Tengger Desert Solar Park, 1,547 megawatts covering 1,200 square kilometers, enough to power over a million homes. India's Bhadla Solar Park, 2,245 megawatts, a $1.3 billion investment. Morocco's Noor Ouarzazate Solar Complex, the world's largest concentrated solar plant spanning 3,000 hectares. Saudi Arabia's Neom Green Hydrogen Project, an 8.4 billion bet on clean hydrogen. Australia's Sun Cable Project, a 30 billion plan to send solar power to Singapore through an undersea cable. The UK's Dogger Bank Wind Farm, the largest offshore wind farm on Earth, set to generate 3.6 gigawatts. The U.S. Desert Sunlight Solar Farm, 550 megawatts capable of replacing a medium-sized fossil fuel plant. Brazil's Belo Monte Hydroelectric Dam, producing 11 gigawatts, enough to power 60 million homes. So, the real question isn't if green energy can replace oil, it's which one will do it first. Because for an energy source to truly replace oil, it must dominate in four critical areas. One environmental impact, it must pollute less than oil. Two, economic viability, it must be cost-effective. Three, technical feasibility, it must work reliably. Four, scalability potential, it must power entire nations. Which energy mega projects check all four boxes? And which ones are just expensive experiments? That's what we're about to find out geothermal energy. For centuries, humans have utilized the Earth's natural heat from the ancient Roman baths to modern power plants. The geysers in the United States, the world's largest geothermal field, has been generating 1,517 megawatts of power since 1960, proving the long-term viability of geothermal energy. In New York, the Rivery Geothermal Towers, an innovative urban development in Brooklyn, has become America's largest all-geothermal-powered residential complex, 
highlighting the potential for sustainable urban energy solutions. Meanwhile, Australia's Earth's Energy Geothermal Project is pushing boundaries by implementing Enhanced Geothermal Systems, EGS, a breakthrough that could allow geothermal energy to expand beyond its traditional hotspots. Despite these advancements, geothermal energy remains hindered by high drilling costs, limited viable locations, and the risk of induced seismicity. Even with improvements in EGS, geothermal power remains a location-dependent and costly option to scale, making it a promising but ultimately niche energy source rather than a global replacement for oil. Nuclear Fusion The dream of harnessing the power of the sun on Earth has captivated scientists for decades. Unlike nuclear fission, fusion produces zero emissions and offers an almost limitless energy supply. The ITER International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor Project in France represents the most ambitious effort to achieve fusion energy, with the goal of generating net positive energy by 2035. In the United States, the National Ignition Facility made history in 2022 by successfully producing more energy from fusion than was consumed in the reaction. However, despite these promising breakthroughs, fusion remains highly experimental and requires extreme conditions to function. The costs are astronomical and no commercial plants exist yet. While it remains the ultimate dream energy source, fusion is still decades away from practical application and cannot be considered a near-term replacement for oil. Ocean Energy With the ocean covering 70% of the Earth's surface and constantly in motion, tidal and wave energy appear to be an untapped gold mine. The Siwa Lake Tidal Power Station in South Korea, the world's largest tidal power plant, has been generating 254 megawatts since 2011, demonstrating the potential of ocean energy. France's LA Rance Tidal Barrage, operational since 1966, has provided proof of tidal energy's long-term reliability but also exposed its high costs. Despite its promise, ocean energy faces significant challenges, including expensive infrastructure, environmental concerns, and a lack of technological maturity. While it may supplement other renewable sources in the future, it is not positioned to replace oil on a global scale. Hydroelectric energy. The ancient giant hydropower has powered civilization since the time of the ancient Greeks and has evolved into one of the world's most significant energy sources. China's Three Gorges Dam, the largest hydroelectric facility in the world, generates a massive 22,500 megawatts of power. Looking to the future, the Grand Inga Dam in the Congo, if completed, is expected to produce an astonishing 40 gigawatts, while the planned Yarlung Tsangpo Dam in Tibet could reach an even more incredible 60 gigawatt capacity. Despite its enormous output, hydroelectric energy has reached a plateau. The environmental consequences, including widespread ecological disruption and the displacement of communities, combined with the fact that most of the best river sites have already been exploited, mean that hydropower has little room for further expansion. While it remains a crucial energy source, it is not the game changer needed to replace oil. Wind energy Wind energy has powered human civilization for centuries, from sailing ships to windmills, and now to large-scale wind farms. The Dogger Bank Wind Farm in the UK is the largest offshore wind farm in the world, generating 3.6 gigawatts of power. The Hornsea Project, also in the UK, is setting even greater records with a 6 gigawatt target, proving the scalability of wind energy. However, wind power comes with its own set of challenges, including intermittency issues, high maintenance costs, and land use conflicts. While wind energy serves as a powerful supplement to other renewables, its unpredictability prevents it from being a standalone global replacement for oil. And now, the true contenders. After analyzing the less viable alternatives, only two energy sources stand out as true contenders in the race to replace oil solar and hydrogen. Solar energy powering a revolution. The sun is humanity's most abundant energy source, delivering more power to the earth in a single hour than humanity consumes in an entire year. Thanks to falling costs and rapid technological advancements, 
solar energy is emerging as the most serious alternative to oil. India's Badla Solar Park, the world's largest solar farm, currently produces 2,245 megawatts of electricity while significantly reducing costs. Morocco's Noor Warsazate Solar Complex, spanning 3,000 hectares, showcases the potential of large-scale solar farms in sun-rich regions. The ambitious Sun Cable Project in Australia, a $30 billion initiative, um, aims to export solar energy to Singapore, proving solar's potential to be transported across vast distances. Recent breakthroughs such as perovskite solar cells, which are lighter, cheaper, and more efficient than traditional silicon panels, along with the development of space-based solar power, where satellites collect solar energy and beam it to Earth, are pushing solar energy closer to mainstream dominance. With these advancements, solar energy is now cleaner, cheaper, and more scalable than ever before, making it a leading contender in the race to replace oil by 2035. Hydrogen energy, the ultimate oil replacement? If any energy source has the potential to dethrone oil entirely, it is hydrogen. With its ability to power everything from transportation to industrial production while emitting only water as a byproduct, Hydrogen appears to be the ultimate clean fuel. The Neom Green Hydrogen Project in Saudi Arabia, an $8.4 billion initiative, aims to produce 650 tons of green hydrogen daily, positioning the country as a global leader in hydrogen energy. In Australia, the Hydrogen Energy Supply Chain, HESC, project is pioneering large-scale hydrogen exports to Japan, setting the stage for a global hydrogen economy. Meanwhile, Germany's national hydrogen strategy has allocated 9 billion euros in funding to integrate hydrogen into key industries and transportation systems. Advancements in electrolysis are making it cheaper and more efficient to extract hydrogen from water, while hydrogen fuel cells are being integrated into vehicles, trains, and even airplanes. Innovations in hydrogen storage are solving one of the technology's biggest hurdles, further improving its viability with its clean and scalable potential Hydrogen energy stands as a formidable competitor to solar, and, if infrastructure advances continue, may well become the ultimate successor to oil. Cost trends and affordability metrics. One of the most important factors in determining which energy source can replace oil is its cost effectiveness. The levelized cost of energy, LCOE, is a crucial metric used to assess the overall affordability of energy sources. It calculates the average cost of electricity generation over a power plant's lifetime, considering capital, operational, and fuel costs. A lower LCOE means a more economically viable energy solution, and recent trends indicate significant progress in renewable energy affordability. Solar energy has seen dramatic cost reductions in recent years. The global average LCOE for utility-scale solar PV fell by 12% in 2023, and the cost of a typical fixed-axis solar farm dropped by 21% globally in 2024. Looking ahead, the LCOE for solar PV is expected to decrease by another 31% by 2025-2035, making it one of the most competitive alternatives to oil. Wind energy has also demonstrated significant cost efficiency, particularly onshore wind. The levelized cost of energy for onshore wind currently stands at around $38 per megawatt hour, with China leading the way by producing wind energy at 24% less than the global benchmark. By 2035, the levelized cost of electricity for onshore wind is projected to fall by 26%, while offshore wind is expected to see a 22% reduction. This downward trend strengthens wind energy's position as a viable and scalable alternative. Hydrogen energy, while still in its early stages of large-scale commercial adoption, is showing strong cost reduction potential. As production scales up and technology advances, the LCOE for hydrogen is expected to fall significantly. According to Bloomberg NEF, clean hydrogen technologies could see a cost reduction, ranging between 22% and 49% by 2035, making it increasingly competitive in industrial applications and energy storage. The clock is ticking, the final verdict. New research from Harvard University in collaboration with the University of Birmingham, the University of Leicester, and University College London found that more than 8 million people died in 2018 from fossil fuel pollution, 
significantly higher than previous research suggested. That means AIR pollution from burning fossil fuels like coal and diesel was responsible for about one in five deaths worldwide. According to the World Health Organization, a staggering 1.7 million children never make it to their fifth birthday, all because of toxic air from fossil fuels. $2.9 trillion? That's what we lose every single year in healthcare costs, lost productivity, and economic damage caused by air pollution. The numbers are staggering, but they also reveal a massive opportunity for innovation. While emissions hit a record high in 2023, global investments in renewables are also at an all-time high, signaling a shift towards cleaner solutions. The science is clear. The numbers don't lie. Global oil reserves are depleting faster than expected, but an energy revolution is already underway. Solar is scaling. Wind is expanding. Hydrogen is rising, but which one will truly replace oil? Or will we continue down this path until the damage is irreversible? What do you think is the real future of energy? Comment below. We want to hear your thoughts. If you crave in-depth analysis of mega projects, engineering marvels, and the future of energy, subscribe now. Join the movement. Stay informed. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching.